got a couple people that want to play. I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's a few hours ago. Yeah, just goes for like an hour to be solo. Had a lot of different phases of like seeing mostly folk people, mostly bluegrass, mostly rock, but just inspired by everybody out there making music too. My name is Alyssa Nunke. Uh, I'm the front person for Fern Spores, and we've been a project for about a year and a half. I'd say my whole life, so I grew up with music playing everywhere, and just kind of always been a big part of my life and my downtime and how I process things. For me, like personally, in the process of like making music, it's kind of the main way that I process things that happen to me in my life. I feel like I've never really processed anything or fully gone through it until I have a song about it. Pretty much all my songs are so based on what I've gone through personally that like I have a hard time writing songs of things that like didn't actually happen to me. I would say for like probably six or seven years I kind of just picked up a guitar once a month, wrote songs sometimes and then during the pandemic and was just kind of locked inside my house for a few months with no technology off grid and was like maybe this is the time to actually start trying and see what I can come up with and then I kind of just quit my job and dumped my boyfriend and moved out here and was like I want to play music. Janis Joplin, she's my, my favorite all-time musician for sure. Uh, this tattoo on my wrist is the same tattoo that Janis Joplin had on her wrist. When I was a baby, my mom said that she would put her on and I would just like cry to like the harmonies of hers. Over time, it's changed a lot. Just inspired by everybody out there making music too. Well, I had a list going in a notebook of probably like a hundred band names that I liked and I just couldn't pick one. I didn't have anybody else to play with yet, but I've always felt kind of weird of playing under my name as my moniker, especially like in a band setting. I was hiking one day and I was kind of like, touching the moss and the ferns and stuff as I walked and I like flipped one over and I saw the fern spores and I said fern spores out loud and I got like chills and I was like that's the name so I rolled with it. <laughs> Just having a career where all I do is music is definitely the biggest goal but whether that means supporting other musicians or booking or promoting or playing music whatever realm I can find to just make music like my main main career. I think one of the biggest like honors you can have as a musician is somebody being like, you inspired me to do this or to sound like this or to be this way. Having a, a varied and big enough body of work to be able to make a difference to other artists and like make other people want to do it. There's a lot of work involved and it's terrifying and getting over all of the personal hold it hurdles and everything is a lot, but just do it anyway. I was absolutely terrified to be on stage like two years ago. I think if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. If down the road you feel like not doing it anymore, that's totally okay, but you might as well try. Thank <laughs> you.